What's going on guys, Kai Vox here and welcome to a new Wands Day. Congratulations. If this is your first new Wands Day, um, I'll put a link right there on the screen where you guys could submit your wands slash Harry Potter creations that you guys have made. And then if they're cool, I'll show them off on the video every week. And then also at the end of the video, I always go over the new wand of the week. This week, we only have one, but it, that thing took me forever. That was like, it's just, it was a big pain in the butt. It was, it was a lot of, it was a big swirl. It was just, you guys voted for it. So this is the one that you guys wanted me to make. And man, that one was stressful. I was working on it until like 12.30 last night. Uh, and then I had to finish it up tonight. Oh, neck is killing me. Ooh. So like I said, that link down below, um, all you guys have to do is send over your pictures to the email on the screen, which is newwandsday at gmail.com. And then I look through all of them and I'm like, oh, this one's pretty cool. Let me, let me go over this one and show everybody that one. This week I got three for you guys. Obviously more were submitted, but I just chose a few and then the rest are just gonna kind of go into a bank so that in the future, I may be able to come back to them and show those off too. Maybe I'll do one big video where I just show off all of your guys' stuff all at once. Maybe that's a good idea. I think that's a good idea. Let me know down below if you guys think that's a good idea. Also, if you guys send me something, let me know down below that you guys be like, hey, I, uh, I sent you a wand. Go check that out. The first wand that we're gonna be looking at is uh, a wand submitted by Wyatt. I think that's how you pronounce your name, guys. If I ever mess up your name, I'm sorry. I'm terrible with names. I could barely pronounce my own name. It looks like he possibly may have used a lathe on it just because it's pretty symmetrical. I can't tell if it was hand carved or not. Um, there's no problem with using a lathe. The only thing is, is that I feel like it takes away from the wand looking more unique. Uh, if I use a lathe, I usually use it for part of it to rough it out and then I go in and kind of just make it a little bit more, yeah, handy made. I do like that gentle swirl that goes around the, the wand uh, shaft there at the end. Um, it does look good. I'm not sure what kind of wood this is. Um, it may have been carved from a branch, I'm not sure. But it definitely looks good. I do like this wand. Um, it, it's simple, it's your wand. Like I said in the previous video, you guys, I'm just trying to give my my opinion on something and it doesn't mean that your thing was bad. It just means that um, I have an opinion. Everybody has an opinion. If you guys have an opinion about my wands, you guys make, make sure to let me know. You're like, ooh, I don't really like this one. The last one was way better. Or, uh, your wands don't look anything like the, the real wands. Yeah. That being said, I like your wand, dude. So keep making wands if you like to make wands and uh, in, in, enjoy making wands, bruh. So the next one is is kind of a cheap out, cop out, I'm chop chop, chow, chow main. The next one's kind of not really just one wand. It's technically three wands, um, but I'm gonna count it as two wands because it was submitted by one person. The one, the only, what is his name? Where's his name here? Merlin, the master wand maker, which dude, come on, bro. But, but honestly though, like when you, when you came up with the name where you like, if I put in master in the name, then everybody will assume that I'm a master because that's excellent. That's a great idea. I should do that. To, I should, I should do the same thing to, I'm going to change my name to master ma maker of master wands of all time. The one, the only, Kaibox. The master wand maker. Then we could be like brothers. We could have the same last name. What do you think? What are you, what are you thinking? <laughs> you submitted three wands, which was a little, it was cheap because you, you sent me one picture of three wands and I'm not gonna cut out the one that I, the one that I wanna talk about. So we're gonna talk about all three in the, this right now because I do like all three of them. They're all fun. And when there's one that's funny, and I know which, I think you know what I'm talking about. Let's look at these wands. Um, the top one looks like uh, Bellatrix's wand, which you you mentioned, but it's made out of walnut, which is super cool. Uh, lo love the walnut. Um, I would add maybe, may, I would take maybe a little bit of acrylic just to kind of give it some uh, difference between the, the handle and the shaft. Um, it looks pretty good though. As soon as I saw that, I was like, 
I was like, that's Bellatrix's wand. I wonder if he was just trying to copy it, which you did a good job if you were. Um, I know it's it's a little bit different, but it looks good. Good job. I really like that center one. I like the handle. I think it came out really, really cool. All three of these definitely look like they're the same wand maker. Um, they definitely have the same style. I don't know if you were trying to go for that square look for all of the handles, but um, you did do that. So keep that in mind. I don't know if you noticed that they... They do all look similar. And then the one that I want to talk about that you made seven months ago. As soon as I saw that, I was like, wait a minute. Did he just rip off my wand? Did he? Did this just happen? Did he just? <laughs> and then I read your I read your email and you were like, hey, I made this like seven months ago. And then I re didn't realize you, you, you were going to make the same wand that I made. Honestly, though, if you do look at those two wands, um, they're so similar. They're not exactly the same, obviously, but it's like if I looked at your picture and I'm like, hey, I'm gonna change this, or you looked at my wand and you were like, hey, I'm gonna make one similar to that, but change it a little bit so it looks like it's mine and I didn't rip it off, which I, I know you didn't rip it off, but it's really, really funny that we, we came to the same conclusion except with different styles. So good job, proud of you, man. That's why they call you Merlin, the, mag the, the mystical master of all wand makers. Thanks for submitting your uh, photos and wands this week. If you guys have any ideas for anything in the future you want me to make, make sure to leave them down below. Um, I get a lot of ideas from you guys to create stuff. You guys always leave comments. So um, I am looking into making other things besides wands. I was thinking about making a broom. I think that'd be pretty cool. Except the broom would be like a whole month long thing to do because... It would just be a pain in the butt, but I do, I am going to do it this summer. It's definitely going to happen at some point, but if you guys have any other ideas, leave them down below. And if you guys want to submit your wands, um, I may start doing a little bit of a giveaway maybe every month for people that submit something. Um, and I, if I use your photo, I will possibly pay. just, just understand that something may be coming up. So if you guys want to submit something, now is the time. Remember, I'll put the link right there for where you guys, not the link, but I'll put, I'll put the email right there so you guys could send your uh, photos over to that. And uh, yeah. So let's move on to the wand of the week. The first wand of April that was made in April. I'll have you guys vote for the next one that we're gonna make. And uh, we'll do that on the live stream on Friday because I'm most likely gonna be drawing up some new wands on Friday. So therefore, and so forth, we're gonna be doing that on that. So if you guys join us um, Friday evening, night, seven Eastern Standard Time. Um, so, so for some of you guys that are overseas, I'm sorry, I'm sorry for you. Maybe late, but for me, it's gonna be seven o'clock. So join us, we're gonna be drawing up some new wands and then we're gonna be voting on what I'm gonna be making this weekend for next week. So be there or be a muggle or something, you know, I don't know. What's an insult that's not offensive to anybody really? I think that's a good one. So we've made this guy, this guy, this one and this one. And what we're gonna be making this week, or what I already made this week was number tree. And uh, you guys voted for that, so therefore, that's the one that we made. I don't know why I'm talking so slowly, but it's that one. So um, I made it out of Purple Heart before I show you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. I hope you guys like it. But uh, I need a new notebook. My notebook's getting all beat up. Uh, I'm only like a quarter of the way through this too, and it's already ripping up. Some of you may like this one, some of you may not. So um, feel free to let me know down below. If you guys hate it, it's okay. I don't mind. Some of you will like it, like I said, and some of you won't. Um, so here it is. It looks a little weird. Um, it's very, very twisty. And this took so long to carve. I don't know if you guys have ever tried carving something like this, but man, does it take forever. This thing's super dense because it's made out of Purple Heart. Um, I did add a little bit of acrylic, a little bit of silver, and a little bit of extra purple in there. Maybe a little bit of black too, just to kind of make the uh, the grooves pop out a little bit more. Um, but you can't, I don't know if you guys can see, but it is a little on the, uh, the shiny side and a little bit, it's not really shiny. I would say it's more of like a semi-gloss. Um, there, there is a protective coating on it. Uh, but it's it's 
pretty good. It's one of my longest wands I've ever made. So it's roughly 15 and a half inches long. Um, but definitely, I think one of the coolest wands that I made, you could see right here, I burned myself um, when I was making this wand. So you could literally say that this wand, um, you, did you guys ever watch Matilda? You know, like the the cake from Matilda where it was made with her her blood and sweat. If you guys didn't watch Matilda, you guys probably think I'm crazy right now, but this wand was made of my blood and sweat minus the blood and the sweat, but I did burn myself once. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that counts. First, I thought this wand was gonna look like a poop or something, like a, like a spirally poop, but I think it looks more like a, um, like a conch or something, or like a sea creature of some kind, uh, like a shell almost. Uh, I think it came out pretty cool. There's actually three swirls here. So if you guys remember that red one that, uh, that Charlie got, that Mike gave away to Charlie, um, you can see here that it's kind of similar where that one had two, but this one has three spirals going all the way around. There's actually a couple of little things too. This side, the spiral goes all the way through, but this side right here has two little breaks, which is probably extremely hard for you guys to see because it's so freaking dark, but there's a break there and a break there. Little things, um, I always try to add little things like that, that when you, know, when you look at the wand, you're like, oh yeah, it's just, you know, so it's a wand, it's, it has a spiral, cool, whatever. Um, this thing feels so good in your hand. It's probably one of the most comfortable wands I've made so far. Um, it just accidentally, because I just drew this shape and I was just like, oh, okay. It kind of looks cool. I like it. Let's let's just go with it. If you have one of these stands, obviously, it can go right there, right? Boom. Just like that on the wall. It looks really good. I think this is one of the coolest looking ones on a display. So even this way, it'll look really, really good. Look at that. Boom. This is the uh, Hufflepuff one, if you guys haven't seen this. This is the Hufflepuff display. So remember guys, every new Wands Day, um, whatever wand I show you guys is gonna go up on the shop, so it should be up right now. So if you guys want to um, pick it up, make sure you guys go over there. Be the first one to get there. Other, it's, it's first curve, first curve, first come. <laughs> first come, first serve uh, at the shop. So if you guys choose this wand, I'm sure it'll choose you back. We'll just put it right there because it looks nice now. It's going to be there. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to submit your ideas slash um, creations down below slash email me the, <laughs> the pictures so I can show them off next week. And uh, remember, I am going to be doing possibly a giveaway. If you're over on Patreon, um, we are also doing a wand giveaway this month for last month's um, patrons. So stay tuned for that. I am going to be working on that soon. Um, don't worry, I didn't forget about you guys. All right, don't worry, don't worry about it. If you guys want to be entered to win future giveaways for Patreon, make sure to go and check out our Patreon page. And uh, I look forward to seeing you guys next week, maybe this weekend. Uh, I got some other stuff to record. And thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. I don't know why I'm dancing. There isn't even any music playing, but in my head, it is, and thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys next time. Bye, bye, bye.